everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to John, I'm going to be doing another American taste test. So let's get started. I'm going to start with some Wise Chips and this flavor is onion and garlic. Something you wouldn't have if you were going out on a date, you know? Or maybe you would if you didn't really want to go out with them. <laughs> Do people agree to go on dates they don't want to go out on? I don't know. 110 calories in this bag. You wouldn't think so because there's not many chips in there. Have a look. Yeah, yeah. They've been a little bit crushed on their journey. I think that's what's happened because I can't really get, yeah, see, I can't really get a whole one. There's a tiny whole one. Mm, I can smell that garlic straight up. Mm. Texture-wise, they're really nice and crispy. They're a thin potato chip. I don't think garlic and onion is a flavor that I would get. I like garlic, but you know, I don't want to overload myself with it. Even with my cooking, I put garlic in and onion, but I just don't go overload it with stuff. You know when you go out to dinner somewhere in a restaurant and you think, wow, this food's really good. And then later on in the night, you feel a bit like, because you've had too much garlic and onion. Is that just me? If you like garlic and onion, then you would like this. Enough potato chip. Time for a beverage break. I know, already so soon in the video, but it's because I don't want my water to get hot and my ice to melt because it's quite hot here today. Welsh's family farmed owned grape drink. And so I think these come in little sticks. No aspartame, zero sugar, singles to go. The flavor really appeals to me because I really like American grape flavored things. It's a different flavored grape than we get here. Probably a different variety of grape. My favorite grapes are those really long skinny ones, but I can't get them in the supermarket where I'm, I'm very disappointed. I have to go into the city if I want fancy grapes. Okay, here they are, little sticks. Put some water in a glass. And you know the drill, I'm not gonna add all of this because usually you would add one of these to a whole bottle of water and I don't wanna to have to be bothered to wash out my water bottle today. Today, anyway. <laughs> my lazy level is right up there today. Got it. Oh, see there's that smell, it smells amazing. And I really am attracted to this grape flavor and smell because it reminds me of an eraser I used to have when I was a kid. I used to just smell the heck out of that thing. Because you know how back in the day, they don't have them now probably. But back in the 80s, a lot of people had eraser collections. It came in all different flavors and smelt. Not flavors because you didn't eat them. But it smelt like you could eat them. We're very much into that. We scented dolls and all kinds of stuff. Hula hoops. I remember having a scented hula hoop. Oi. Is that enough? Oh. Oh, it's so dramatic. I love it. I hope I've put enough in. Cheers. Oh yeah, she's pretty strong. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, it smells better than what it tastes. Mm. Hey, here's something really interesting. As soon as I added the flavoring in, my ice cubes pretty much melted. Except for this little fella here is the only survivor. It's why is that? What, what would that happen? The flavor isn't as amazing as I'd hoped it to be. You can still taste it's got that grape flavor, but it's not the best grape flavored drink I've ever had before. It tastes a little bit sugarless. It says no aspartame, zero sugar. Well, yeah, it says zero sugar, so there's no sugar, hello. So I'm not quite sure what sugar is in here, but whatever is in here, I think that's what I'm really not liking the flavor of. I can taste that, mm, mm. I mean, it is quite sweet, but there's an underlying flavor that I can't really pinpoint and tell you about even though I'm drinking it. There is great flavor, but then there's a little bit of like a, uh, I've been in the science lab kind of taste as well. This one's okay. Would I drink it again? Eh, I drink the rest of the packet, but I don't think I would go out and buy it. Moving on to some beautiful looking wafer biscuits. And these ones from Italioni and it's bite-sized wafers with lemon. So that's exciting. I love lemon flavored things. Love it, love it, love it. I have a feeling I might've had this brand before. Don't know if I've had the lemon flavor, but how good do these look? Does that look appealing to you? You know what would be good? Scissors. I don't have them. Oh no, this isn't opening well. <laughs> Whoa, so dramatic. Let me give you a look inside the bag here. Lots of them in there, so yeah. Oh, they're adorable. Look at that, little bite-sized ones. I mean, how nice would that be if people came around for coffee or tea and you just pop one of those on the side of the plate and they go, wow, fancy, fancy, fancy. Mm. 
been nice but I've had a lot of really good wafers over the years and I don't think these are outstanding or anything it has got a lemon flavor in there but I'd like it to have a little bit more tang in there for me yeah mmm mmm and I think because of the size of these little wafer biscuits that it's very deceptive. You wouldn't know how many you could eat in one go, one sitting. You know how like with biscuits you say, well, I'll just have two or three, right? Well, I don't know how many you have. I've got this rule that when I have a coffee or tea, I allow myself to have two biscuits. I don't know. It's just always been the number two, two. Let me know what your number is. But how many of those you can have? I don't know. Um, four. I'm going to sit. No, they're, they're smaller than that though, so I'm going to go, I don't know how many. They're quite a nice little wafer biscuit, got a little bit of a lemon flavour in there. I would like them to just be a little bit more strongly flavoured with lemon, but yeah, still nice. Yeah, I'd eat them again. Oh, how exciting. It's a Jack Lynx product. So this is Jack Lynx Teriyaki Meat Strip. So I have had Jack Lynx Teriyaki Meat Strip before, and I liked it when it was in little bite size. I don't know if this is just different because it's in a whole strip, tender style meat meat strip. I don't know how many times I can say meat strip. And the more I say it, the odder it sounds. Do you just peel it away at the corner or something? Yes, you do. You do, everyone. See? I don't know what I'm doing. Actually really hard to get a grip of. But when you do, you get rewarded by a nice big meat strip. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. It smells quite nice. It does smell like teriyaki. the teriyaki in this one I do because it's got a nice sort of smokiness to it but then it's also got that little bit of sweetness on your palate as well I think this is one of the nicest Jack Link's meat strip thing for me for me I don't know what your favorite is someone in the comments actually said that this was their favorite flavor I hear you yeah because I agree with you I think it's good I'm sorry about waving weird meat in your face I don't mind this one I mean of course it's got that sort of rubbery sort of interesting texture that a jerky has it's not something I would get but I don't mind the flavor of it yeah look at how pretty this one is it's like a beautiful Neapolitan flavored thing coconut bar oh it's like coconut what do you call it what do you call it coconut ice that's it it's like coconut ice that's Neapolitan flavored it looks beautiful it's supreme coconut bar three flavors strawberry vanilla and chocolate and it's got a crack in it so I won't be able to get this out in one nice piece um, Oi, nice. Well, look, I'll put that aside. And, oh, there's another broken. Put that aside. I'll get the rest of this out. Oh, see how beautiful it is? I do like coconut ice. I loved it as a kid, but I don't have it as an adult because as an adult, I find it too sweet. Let's try the strawberry flavoured first, and that is quite brightly coloured. dry coconut ice and the strawberry flavor isn't overwhelming in it there's a slight strawberry taste but not a lot I'm gonna try a bit with vanilla hmm sounds like the vanilla one better and I usually like strawberry flavor better than I don't know what's going on now let's try the chocolate bit not overwhelmingly chocolatey either it's almost like they've put the coloring of these things in but they haven't put the flavoring in so much it's an okay coconut ice it's a little bit on the dry side but still nice and sweet and if you like coconut oh ice then you probably like this and always put some on your floor make sure it's the pink bit you know because then you can tread it into the carpet and that might even stay and John has sent me something for my little princesses to try and this one is from Vitacraft and it's Persty when they have it they're going to just be so happy and they're going to purr well actually Buffy will probably just hiss at me I don't know she just always hisses me she's just a very anxious animal and she doesn't hiss because she's actually nasty she hisses because she's anxious like some people chicken recipe so the carmen does sticks all right oh so you can break it off like little pieces of chocolate for them that should be exciting okay so Buffy's out oh it stinks so I'm gonna see if Buffy likes this let's go get ready to purr my little angel I've got a purr stick for you Oh, she hissed me. No, 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 no. Just want to try it. That's all. Purr stick. Oh, you like it. You actually like it. See? Do you want another one? Or would you like to hiss me again? Buffy loves things that are treats. There you go. 
Oh, that's fantastic. She loves it. Okay, let's see if cat number two likes it. Kissy, see, I got a treat for you. Come on, try it. Hello, beautiful. Do you have a nice sleep? Always sleeping. It's, um, it's a chicken. Oh, no, don't leave. <laughs> Kissy, come on. Do you want it? Because if you won't, then Buffy will have it. Here you go. Oh, no. <laughs> coming in for a cuddle. Typical hissy. Good news Buffy, you get another one because uh, your mum doesn't like it. So it's all yours baby. That's great, well at least Buffy loves it. I'm not surprised because hissy's not really into treats, Buffy's more into that sort of thing than her. Hissy's more into cuddles. More potato chips up next. This one is Kettle Brown Potato Chips Backyard Barbecue. See that's interesting because you call it backyard barbecue and I thought that in America you call barbecues cookout because it's outside and you're cooking there. Great taste naturally. There you go, can you see them? They look a nice colour, very nice and barbecuey. Uh, oh yeah. Mm. Gosh, I love potato chips. Mm. Oh, I like it. Mm. Smoky, salty, not too sweet. The potato chip itself is quite dense because it's a kettle chip. Mm, mm. I've got salt all over my hand right now. I'm not loving it. They're not really, really strongly flavoured with barbecue flavour though. You know, it's there, but it's not as strong as other potato chips out there on the market. The texture's good, the flavour's good, but I think it could be a little bit more intense. But other than that, they're nice and I get them again. Yum. <laughs> Landmark confectionery. And this one is chocolate sea salt caramels. Yum! How do you... Open this. They're hard to open. You know why? Because I've just had potato chips, so I've got a little bit of like oil on my hand. Ugh. I'm never going to get to them. You're about to see a tantrum. <laughs> get prepared. Oh, finally I'm in. So, I'll give you a look. Can you see those? What's going on? Oh, they're stuck together. This is what's happened. They've sort of clubbed together. I have got one that's individual here, though. Oh! Mmm! Mmm! Mmm, they're lovely. I really like it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So I'm guessing that Landmark Confectionery isn't like a really super popular brand because I haven't really heard of them like here. So they've got little bits of salt on the outside of that milk chocolate. The milk chocolate's really nice and the caramel inside or the caramel as some people like to call it is really nice and stretchy. Nice flavour to it. Nice amount of sweetness. Not too sweet. I like it. It's really mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's exactly how I want caramel to be. Oh, stretchy, flavoursome, and then it's got that lovely pop of salt in there as well. Delicious. Oh, I really like these. Yum, yum, yum. Mm, mm, mm. 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 There's actually lots of bits of salt on the outside. And I'll show you on this big melted bit together here. I don't know if my camera's picking that up, but there's actually big chunky bits of salt on the outside. Goes really nicely with the caramel and the chocolate. Delicious. Love them. Thank you so much, John, for sending me this selection. I really do appreciate it. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank John, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week, and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.